Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to PSP student management system project tutorial for beginner. Now in the previous tutorial, we add teacher data form here. You can see teacher name description and teacher image form here. And we added those data to our database. Over here, you can see the teacher table. Let me zoom in. And here you can see the teacher data over here, name, description and the image. Now in this tutorial, we are going to show all those teacher data from the database to our uh, home page over here here you can see you can see this is our home page and here if you go down here you can see our teacher section and in this section we have the teacher image and description and those are not coming from the database those we just write using normal html so we are going to write now get the teacher image name and the description from the database from here so for it let's go back to our code and here you can see we are currently in the index.php and if we go down you can see over here our teacher section over here and here you can see teacher image and the normal p tag where we write some description here you can see we have three teacher image description on two and three so we are going to show the teacher data from the database over here so for it first of all we need to get the data from the database and show it in this index.php so for it we will first go at the top and here you can see we already have uh, some PSP tag over here. You can see PSP opening and PSP closing over here. So first of all, in this page, we are going to connect this index.php to our database. So for it, let me just say over here dollar host equal to localhost. Then we are going to say dollar user equal to root. Then dollar password equal to null. And the last one will be dollar db equal to uh, we need to mention our database name and our database name was school project uh, let me just show you let me just go back to my browser and let me just zoom in over here here you can see school project database over here this is our database uh, so here we write school project so after this we are just going to write dollar data equal to we are going to say my sqli connect and inside this uh, two first bracket we are going to mention all those variable dollar host dollar user let's say dollar host comma dollar user comma dollar password and the last one was dollar db so once you write this line we will be able to connect to the database so we now is connect to the database but right now we need to get the data from this teacher table so in order to get data from the teacher table we need to write a sql query so let me declare another variable let's say dollar sql equal to will give to double quotation and here we are going to say select star form and we are going to mention our table name which is teacher so once you just write this single line select star form teacher it means we want every data from the teacher table so after this uh, we just need to say over here let's say dollar result another variable equal to mysqli query and we'll give two first bracket and inside this first we are going to say dollar data comma dollar sql and here you can see dollar data this dollar data is this one where we connect our this index.php to the database and this dollar sql is this one where we just write the sql query so once you write those line it means we are actually getting all the data from the database to this index.php now all is left is to show those data so let me just go down and here you can see our teacher section and here you can see three teacher data over here here you can see column on column two column and three column so i'm just going to remove two of them okay. and if i now save it let me just save it and let me just refresh over here here you can see there is only one teacher image and the description so here we are going to write some code so that we can show the teacher data from the database to our here so for it first of all so before this div call md4 we are going to start a while loop over here and we are going to in the while loop here over here after this div and in order to write the while loop since while loop will be a psp code and we cannot write psp code inside html so we need to start the psp tag over here then we need to in the psp tag like this 
and inside this PHP tag we are going to write the while loop so let me just say over here while and inside this first we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar info you can declare any variable we'll just go with dollar info equal to here we are going to say dollar result and you might be wondering what is this dollar result coming from and if you just go at the top here you can see we mentioned dollar result equal to mysqli query dollar data comma dollar sql and this result is actually this one okay so after this result we are going to give this arrow arrow sign then fetch asoc fetch underscore asoc then to first bracket and we will give the second bracket and the second bracket will start here and the second bracket will end after this div now since the second bracket is also a PSP code so we also have to give the PSP opening and closing here and inside this we are going to give the second bracket I hope this is clear uh, we are giving this PSP tag because we cannot write PSP code inside HTML so in order to write write PSP code we need to give PSP opening and a PSP closing even if it's just a single character so here you can see we write over here dollar info now using this dollar info we can show all the data from the database to over here so uh, we'll just show the teacher image later let me just uh, show the description teacher name and the description so let's uh, first show the teacher name okay so instead of p tag let's use uh, let's say h3 tag for name and if you go to the database here you can see we have the teacher name description and the image we'll show the image later first uh, let's show the name and the description so in order to show the name uh, inside this h3 tag first of all let's we also again need to give the psp opening psp closing and here then inside this PSP tag, we are going to say over here echo. Then we'll give two double quotation, not single quotation. If you give single quotation, you'll get an error. Then we'll give two second bracket, and inside it, we are going to say dollar info. And this dollar info is actually this one that we mentioned in the while loop. Then we'll give two third bracket and two single quotation inside the third bracket. Then here we are going to say name now where is this name coming from if we just go to our database and here you can see name this name is actually this one so after name we will show the description as well so let me just copy this line Control c and Control v so here instead of h3 let's say over here h5 and h5 and instead of name we are going to say here description so if i now save it Control s now here uh, you need to see that uh, i just write over here the same image uh, over here so we'll see multiple same images so you just need to focus on the name and the description for now so let me just save it and if i just refresh over here you will see three images with with name and some description so if i just refresh so here you can see the same image three times and here we can see john and some description very good web developer matthew and steven uh, we use while loop that's why we uh, seeing multiple same image so right now we also in the database show the uh, upload the image as well so here we are going to right now show the image from the database as well so let's go back to our code so in order to show the image we obviously uh, need to use the image tag obvious so in order to show the image we obviously need to write something in the source uh, so let me just remove this part first and here you can see the PSP code in order to show the name we actually need to write the same thing for showing the image as well so let me just copy this part and i'm going to paste it inside source and here you can see name stop name we are going to say image let's save it now here you can see this image name is actually coming from the database so inside the source source you need to write it like this you also need to write the echo and info dollar info image everything just like before so if i now just save it then if i just refresh over here 
so here you can see the teacher image name and the description as well so this is how you can display image and the other data from database in php so thank you very much for watching and if you have any question then let me know in the comment section and if you want to appreciate me then please subscribe my channel so thanks for watching again stay tuned and stay healthy